Wow, 66 Cadillac for five grand. This thing's clean. A complete 36 Chevy two door for two grand. That's crazy. 2200 bucks for a 36 Dodge pickup. That's a great price. 2500 bucks for a 69 Malibu. This might have been original big block car. 64 Pontiac Bonneville for 2500 bucks. I might have to go look at that one. What do you think of the background? One of my videos paused on my TV. I'm a genius, I know. Hey, welcome back again, all you beautiful car enthusiasts, to another video by MCL. And I'm sitting here on a Saturday, just bored out of my head, wondering what I could do with myself, you know, while my project car's out in the garage sitting on jack stands. And like any other gearhead, I thought I'd go ahead and hit up Marketplace on Facebook and, uh, see what kind of junk is out there, you know, stuff you don't need, you can't afford, but you end up bringing it home anyway. And if it's some rusty old part, throw it on the shelf for five years and, you know, go ahead and sell it later for less than what you bought it for. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and uh, we could check out what uh, Midwest has got to offer here. Let's go check it out. And right out of the gate, we have a sweet Dodge pickup, 1936. Just begging to become a street route of some sort. Uh, the description says it has some rust and dents, you don't say. It also does not have windows. So yeah, I might want to put some windows in it. That would be a good start. And, you know, tires and an engine and a tranny. But, I mean, just think of what you could make out of this thing. This thing is pretty sweet. What else do we have for pictures on this guy here? Oh, comes with extra parts in the back. Oh my goodness. Look at all those. Oh, we're missing a wheel. I want to put a wheel on the front. We got in there fenders and a hood or something. And we're going to need some seats since the floor. Might want to put some floor in it. That would probably help. Next up, 67 Ford Wagon. Now look at this bad boy. Three grand they want for this. Now this looks like something I would purchase. This thing could be pretty sweet, I think. Uh, frame rusty. Needs repair. Oh, that's just wonderful. 390 automatic. It's got an FE in it. Bench seat. Oh, man, look at this guy. That doesn't look bad at all. I suppose rusty frame probably doesn't help a whole lot. What do we got for pictures here? There's a nice side shot. I mean, this guy could be a fixer-upper. Guy puts a little work into it, you know. Get that FE running. Put a four-speed in this puppy. Got yourself a runner right there. Three grand. Another Ford. 63 Galaxy 500 convertible. Now, I really don't care for convertibles, but this looks like it's in pretty decent shape. This has got to be a run and drive machine right here. I mean, five grand, it's got to be a driver. wonder if it comes with a top. What's it say here? 394 barrel, another FE. This thing could be pretty decent. Put a little work into it. It's got to be a run and drive machine. What's this say here? Uh, no low balls. He doesn't want any low balls. Got to keep that in mind. I mean, this is a pretty decent rig right here. Looks like it's uh, located on the east side of Minnesota there, Red Wing, by the uh, river. And up next, Cadillac. There you go, 66 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. 5,000. Man, look at the tail on that thing. You could live in that trunk. Ooh, it looks all complete on the motor. Looks like it's all complete under the hood there. This is in really decent shape. Fairbolt, Minnesota. What's it say down here? It's a Texas car. New headers on exhaust before driving. Uh, head gasket went out, so not running. Oh boy, bring a trailer. 
Got to have a trailer for that guy. But it's in really good shape. Texas car. What do we got here? 58, 348. Wow, that looks all complete except for the carb. Got the distributor, intake, water pump, chrome valve covers. That's not bad at all right there. Oh, we got pictures of the numbers. Got to have them matching numbers. Well, you know, here's your uh, motor for your 36 Dodge pickup. Throw that in there. Put your big dumpy holly on top of there so you can, you know, fight with that every day. 1200 bucks. Where is this located? Rochester, Minnesota. Well, somebody ought to go and pick that puppy up. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you a special news break. MCL has received a suspicious package in the mail. Upon opening the package, it was revealed it was just a sweet automotive t-shirt. A viewer and loyal subscriber, who we will just call Dan for now, sent us this sweet t-shirt. Upon further investigation into said sweet t-shirt, it turns out Dan sells these on a website that you can find on the internet. There is a link down in the description below. We thank Dan for sending this generous gift to MCL. This paper is blank. This coffee mug is empty. We now return you to your scheduled program. Julie has it. Go ahead and get a hold of Julie and you get yourself a 348. Not bad at all. Wonder if you get that sweet pallet. Oh my goodness, a Cobra. You could own a Mustang Cobra. Unfortunately, it's a 78 Cobra, but six grand. Six grand for that. Wow, look at that interior. Just scream 70s. That is a lot of red right there. Looks fairly complete, pretty solid. Unfortunately, again, it is a 78. I wonder if that's a driver. Just hop in there, turn the key, and away you go. It does look all complete. I'm sure it's numbers matching. Oh no, pictures of a block, that's not a good sign. Engine's all disassembled, you got totes full of junk. Automatic tranny there, oh. That's going down the hill here real quick. What do we got? 78 Cobra 2 Roller Project. Tons of parts. Oh, yeah, that's what you want. So this comes with the uh, big sticker on it that says some assembly required. Yeah. Six grand. I don't know about that. Rochester, Minnesota again. Oh, look at this guy. 37 Plymouth Four door suicide doors in the back. Another some assembly required. Oh, yep, yeah, pickup box full of parts. That's what you like to see. I don't know. It looks pretty solid. It might be uh, somebody really wants to put some work into it, you know. Got a six cylinder. Five totes full of parts. That's great. Belts, trim pieces are well over 3000 alone. Well, maybe we should just part that out and be done with it then there, buddy. Stillwater, Minnesota. Here we go. Now we're getting to the good stuff. 68 Camaro. Unfortunately, it's a convertible. But it says it's an SS. Ooh, that quarter is not looking healthy. I'm going to need a little, little body work there, I think. Interior looks all original, complete. This is a uh, good solid start to a project here if you're a body guy. Oh, it's got the uh, flip down back seat in it. wonder if he's got the hood. What do we got for description here? 68 Camaro RS SS convertible. Factory fold down rear seat. Deluxe interior. Tilt wheel AC 12 bolt posi. Multi-leaf springs. So it's missing the hood, motor, trans, and drive shaft. Was wrecked in the 70s and sat in a body shop from 81 until he bought it. 
Doors open and close fine. Has decent floors. So yeah, this would uh, this would be a good start. We're in Iowa. Get a hold of Kyle there if you really want to uh, put your body work to the test. What else does Kyle have here? Oh, Kyle also has a 57 Bel Air, 900 bucks. I don't know if that's the same car or not. Maybe a two. Probably a package deal. Try to make one car out of two piles here, I guess. Ooh, look at that floor. Got a few little holes there. Oh, yep, yep. We're going downhill real quick here, Kyle. He's already got it on the trailer. 900. No title. Imagine that. No Vindag. Wow. Not getting a whole lot for 900 bucks there, Kyle. So if anybody out there wants some parts for a 57, go ahead and get a hold of Kyle in Iowa there. What else does Kyle have? Oh, he sold his Corvette. What's this here? Kyle has a 55 Pontiac for 900 bucks. I mean, you might be able to make something out of that. Why not? You know, again, throw in your uh, 58 uh, 348 Chevy in there. Might want to put a fender on the front. Get all that junk out of the interior there. That's a driver, man. Just jump in and go. You know, with your 348 and uh, a tire put on the back there, you're talking big smoky burnouts all day long in this guy. I'm telling you. Looks like Kyle thinks this is a parts car. I think he's crazy. That's a driver right there. What else you got here, Kyle? Oh, he's got all kinds of stuff. 65 Malibu, 20,000. That's convertible. Not too crazy about them convertibles. Is that a manual? That might be a stick. Pretty decent interior in it. That's a really good start right there. And we got a small block. And we got that sweet triangle air cleaner on there. Zoom in on that. Oh man, I gotta have that air cleaner. I mean, how cool is that? What's it say down here? 65 Chevelle Real SS. Runs and drives. Small block 355 with a 4 speed. It is a stick. It's got a 12 bolt posi, tack in the dash, power steering, power brakes, rust free floors. Has a phone number there. But we uh, we already know all about this Kyle guy. What is this? Here's another Malibu. 69 Malibu. 2500. It's another body man's dream right there. Rockers look pretty solid. Trunk looks pretty clean. Gas tank. Not bad. I mean the quarters are pretty ugly. But uh, the floor looks pretty solid. I mean, it looks just like the sheet metal on the outside, the rear quarters. Oh, and of course, you get a whole bucket full of parts. What's it say in the description here? Completely rust free floors. Very clean, rust free chassis. Vintag is missing. That's interesting. And it has no title. No Vintag and no title. Well, that's very interesting. And up next is Every Man's Dream, a 66 Rambler four-door. I'm guessing this thing's got a big block in it with a four-speed, goes drag racing every weekend in this car. But, you know, I could be wrong. It looks like a daily driver. Nice bench seat. I mean, this is a cruiser. Oh, no, no big block. We got a straight six. Oh, I was so far off. I thought, sure, this would have a big block. What do we got in the description down here? Sat in a barn for 25 years. Has some floor pan rust that has been temporarily patched. Oh, it's got license plates on the floors. You know that happened. She's a real head turner. I was going to LS swap it and throw in a six speed. Yeah, no, you weren't. That was never going to happen. He wants a Cadillac. Who wants to trade their Cadillac for this sweet four-door Rambler? Looks like he's in Iowa. Have to go down and talk to George in Iowa. 
66 Chevrolet C10, 5,500. This is literally a farm truck. It's probably got feed in the back. Does it come with the horse feed? Pulled from a barn two years ago. 250 removed and disassembled. Oh boy, it's going downhill in a hurry. Let me guess the back pickup bed is full of parts. You get to put it back together. Yeah, I don't know. That went downhill in a hurry. 5,500. I don't know about that. 51 Chevrolet. 3,100. What do we got for more photos here? That's got a straight six in it. Oh, we started work. Got a subframe on the front there. This has got some work done to it. 3,100. This might not be too bad of a project here. Wonder if he's got all the stuff. This might not be bad truck here for someone that wants to build. Looks like I had a three on the tree. I wonder why he stopped working on it. This one's in Iowa also. 51 Chevy 3100. Not running. Really? Hmm. Also have a 48 cab doors and front fenders. This sits on original frame with updated front sub, master cylinder relocated below cab. He has titles for both. This isn't too bad right here. Somebody wants a project. How about a bus? 1950 Chevy bus, 2500. There's your car hauler. You lop off the back of that and put your street route on there or your uh, drag car. I wonder if it's got a motor. No, it does not have a motor. Brand new seats come with it. You could start your own little bus service. No title. That's a huge shocker right there. Diesel would be a cool for a 3500 diesel chassis. And there you have it. Who wants a bus? 64 Pontiac Bonneville 2500. Boy, this doesn't look all that bad at all. Get out some rattle can. Spray bomb this thing one color. That looks like a... Uh, that looks like a driver. Interior and bed. Those seats aren't bad at all. Okay, it's no longer a driver. You'd have to put some kind of uh, motor in it of some sort. Oh, no, of course, all kinds of parts. They always come with totes and trunks full of parts. You get an extra hood. What do you need another hood for? Two-door hardtop. It was a family car. Gray exterior with black vinyl interior. Car has not run many years. Well, yeah, it doesn't have an engine, so that would probably hinder that. The worst damage is on the frame with rust from sitting outside. Oh, it's got a bad frame. That's not good. And you got to go to South Dakota. 53 Chevrolet. 2800. Looks mostly complete. Big dent in the rear quarter. Oh, this ain't too bad. No motor or transmission. Where are we at? We're in South Dakota again. Not a bad start there. 27 Ford body. That definitely needs a chop job, that's for sure. That wouldn't be a bad project there. 1500. Body is in really good shape. I do have the doors and trunk lid. It comes with another coupe body. We'll do trade so you get two bodies apparently. 69 Malibu wag at 1500 bucks. Now this is another something I would drag home. 69 Nomad. I mean the body isn't too bad. You know everybody's doing these body chassis swaps. Pull this off and put it on some kind of Camaro frame or something. A guy could make something out of this I would think. I bet you the floors and the frame are just rotted to nothing in this. Oh, yeah, there are no floors. Six cylinder. Yeah, you could body swap that onto something. 61 Biscayne, two grand. 
Ryan wants two grand for his Biscayne with a gas tank on the roof. Four door. What do we got for a description here? Let's see what it says. Up for sale, 61 Biscayne. Six cylinder, three speed. Does run and kind of drives. Well, it kind of drives. Car has rust in the floors and rear frame. Nice parts car. Title in hand. Oh my goodness. Can't believe it's got a title. These photos. These photos aren't bad. Too bad for the uh, floor and the frame. I mean. This could make a really good parts car. Lots of good parts on this thing. 2000 bucks. Throw your license plates on the floor. 72 Chevrolet C10 for a thousand. This doesn't look too bad for a thousand bucks. No motor or tranny. Title in hand. There you go. Throw in some kind of small block in that. What's the photos have to tell us here? Got all the parts for the front end. It's a good start. Well, we got all four wheels. Looks like there's a bunch of junk in the back. Missing a bumper. Bench seat. That doesn't look too shabby at all. Good old farm truck right there. $1,000. What is this? 33 Chevy. 3500 bucks. Wow, this is some kind of Frankenstein going on here. Rat Rod. Ooh, it's got new headers. Oh my goodness, headers even. This is, uh, hey, what's the photos show us? Oh, that's some lovely seats there. No front windshield. Those are new headers? I don't know about that. Small block Chevy, of course. This is, uh, I think he's calling it a rat rod because it's, uh, you know, not finished whatsoever. We'll just call it a rat rod. Got all kinds of stuff going on here in the photo. Oh, that's just a lovely photo there. You get all four doors. No fenders, but you get the four doors. That is a wacky front end going on there. Be a little sketchy uh, front suspension there, if you ask me. He has all kinds of pictures. He's pretty proud. Oh, wow. What is going on there? That is pretty scary looking. Iowa. We have another Chevrolet. 54, 2500 bucks. Let's see. Clean title. That's a good start. Has 1975 Firebird front sub, 350 engine, power glide tranny, 9 inch rear end. Wow. That's not bad at all. Josh has put some work into his uh, 54. For 2500 I got to see uh, some photos of this engine and stuff going on here. What kind of work did you do here, Josh? It's probably all cobbled up. Got to gotta put a rear quarter on. Oh, my goodness, yeah. I like to see some photos of uh, some of this work that Josh did to his 54. I mean, it all it looks all pretty complete. I mean, you get everything there. It's not in the best of shape, obviously, but uh, not a bad start. Got some rust going on there. Extra tail lights. Ooh, there's all kinds of rot back in that corner. Floor ain't too shabby. That ain't bad at all. Looks like there might have been some patchwork done in the back there. But with the work that, uh, that's that been put in it, it's a pretty good start. Oh, he has a quarter for it too. And there's the subframe. A little unfinished, but not too bad. 36 Chevrolet Master Deluxe. 2000, and it's a two-door. Man, look at that thing. That could be a sweet hot rod right there. Pretty solid overall motor is all there. Doors open nice. 
I think a guy could make something out of that. I mean, of course, you know, you throw your typical small block Chevy in there, automatic. Oh, we got some bomber seats or something going on there. Might want to have a little bit more than just the bomber seats. We're missing all kinds of flooring and parts and stuff in the back there. But not bad for two grand. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, coming along with me on a little tour of Facebook. Some pretty sweet stuff on there. I mean, a lot of it, yeah, needs a lot of work. But, I mean, a guy could build something out of one of those rigs, I would imagine. Uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe and like and all that happy fun stuff. Whatever you gotta do, get notified, you know, follow along on these videos here. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned.